Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. If you're a regular viewer, it's nice to see you again. If you're a new viewer, welcome. My name's Paul. I do weekly YouTube videos about a bunch of different things because I don't think we're one dimensional as people. We've got a lot of different sides, got a lot of interests, and I've really enjoyed so far sharing those with you guys and hoping that there are some commonalities there. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you'll actually know that Arlene and I are in the process of moving. So I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along for the ride. So I've actually got to make a quick change here. Just, just one second. Ah, much better. If you couldn't tell, I'm doing a moving vlog. Paul, why the heck are you doing a vlog? Well, I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be something a little bit different. And it's just another way I can give you guys an insight into my life. And I don't know, just build that connection that I want to build with this community. It's also a way that I can sneakily show you my studio setup as B grade as it is. And yeah, show you around the house as well and what's going on with the lead up to the move. So let's go. All right, welcome to the madness. This is literally what I'm looking at whenever I film. I recently acquired this tiny, but will do the job, Sony ZV-1. What's great about it is that it just comes with the lens built in. So if I turn it on, look at that, whoa. Come straight out. Bye lens. Nice and simple, didn't need what I was using. That's the setup. I'm currently using butcher's paper as a diffuser for my, <laughs> my field light. And I've just got this ring light as kind of a backlight. And then fun fact, I actually have been using <coughs> my Google Pixel. <laughs> Let's just turn that lamp off. As kind of like the back wall light to add a bit of uh, separation. And then there's the desk. I won't go into that, but yeah, this is kind of where everything is. The guitar's over there. We've moved stuff out already, so it's a bit disheveled once we get to here. Oh, look, boxes and music things and more junk. It's, uh, it's a good time, but uh, yeah, excited to move all this and actually have a bit more input into what the studio will look like longer term. And then we come out. Bedroom's in there. And that's all you see of that. If we had been vlogging back in the day, I would have shown you a before and after of this. We actually got the bathroom redone. The landlords were very nice. Hello. <laughs> Had to move out for three weeks, but it's lovely and I'm going to miss it. And yes, more guitar cases, and here starts the real mess. Books, more books, my shoe collection. <laughs> yes, most of these are mine, and I am really ashamed to admit that all of those boxes are full of brand new shoes that I've never worn. But good news, I won't have to buy a pair of shoes for the next decade, so that's nice. Yeah, living area. I don't really have a plan for this other than showing you quickly what we've got to do. Video games, got to figure out what I'm doing with those. TV, couch and everything. Much to my shame. These are all filled with pretty much just DVDs and Blu-rays. My reason for having so many, it's literally, it's literally, I'm pretty sure those three boxes, tubs, sorry, are all filled with like DVDs and Blu-rays. My reasoning is between three and five years ago when I bought all of those over that span of time. Netflix in Australia wasn't that good. It didn't have a lot of stuff. And it's been kind of scary now, like going through the collection and then referencing Netflix and Amazon uh, Prime and like Disney Plus and stuff and realizing, oh damn, like all of these are pretty much on streaming services now. I have literally no need for these. So why do I have so many boxes? That's a great question. Um, some of them are sentimental, some of them you can't actually like get. So I've kept ones that you can't get on streaming services, but yeah. Look, they're going in storage. I do have stuff that is going to um, Goodwill or Vinnie's or yeah, we're donating it. If anyone wants <laughs> some DVDs, let me know in the comments. But yeah, I had a bit of a problem. Kind of like my book video. I probably could have made a video about how I kept buying Blu-rays and DVDs, but they were all, I wanted to buy all my favorite things and have them in hard copy in case, you know, the world implodes and the internet goes down and then everyone's going to be coming to me to watch <laughs> movies, so. I'll probably hold on to a few. Moving on, more random stuff. We basically try to start packing little things so it's not all mad rush. This white eight cube was actually in the study where the guitar rack is now that you saw previously. Just moved it out to clean it down and I don't know, trying to at least trick my brain into thinking we're starting to do stuff, which obviously we are. We actually also bought this. I haven't spoken about it much, but I'm really, really, really keen to get a dog. And so Arlene thought it would be cute if we got a little dog paw one. One we eventually can get a dog. The place we're moving to is dog friendly, so there may be some dog content content coming to the channel. That would be exciting. I would really love that. If you want to see a grown man cry, <laughs> check out that. But yeah, more books. I've cleaned these out. 
which is kind of where all the DVDs and stuff were. We've subsequently put more things in there, obviously. That chair is going to go back to my parents. And then, yeah, the kitchen is going to be an interesting one. I don't know how many of you watching this have ever moved like a full kitchen in terms of all the stuff, but I'm like, oh man, it's a lot of fine china and stuff. Nice laundry. Arlene's really loved this kitchen. She'll be sad to see it go, but we have lucked out in the place we're going to, which you will see. Of course, has a really nice kitchen. The nice thing about this movie is that our leases for both properties actually have a two week overlap. So we get the keys this Thursday for our new place. We're very excited. But then we actually have two weeks still of the lease here. So we don't have to really rush and get everything out this coming weekend over like two days. We've actually have a while, but as you'll see soon, I've actually planned out between this Thursday and next Monday, basically getting m the majority of our stuff moved. So it's gonna be relaxed. I'm not stressed. It's gonna be a good time. We've got four days from getting the keys to when we'll move all the big things. So we've got a removal list coming on the Monday, a week from today. Jeez, that's crazy. Lots to do, but they'll take all the big things like the fridge, the washing machine, our bed, the dining table back there, the couch, basically those big things and probably the buffet as well, actually. But yeah, from that day is basically when we'll start living in the new apartment. So a week from now, <clears throat> new living situation, new studio, new area to explore. We're really excited. I thought washing machine's going on. That's fine. I wonder how much that's getting picked up. Might move somewhere else. I actually want to show you guys something and we're going to do it in the bedroom because that washing machine is driving me nuts. But this is something that truly gives you an insight into my life. Yes, the bed's been stripped. That's lovely. My life and my mind. <laughs> I created a spreadsheet that basically has the date and the day, obviously, and then a plan for that day and then the items we actually move and then a tick box for if it got done. So basically I've been working off that, which is really allevi alleviated, if I can speak, alleviated a lot of stress. And as you can see, I've actually got the fourth and the eighth in red. The fourth is when we get the keys and then we move most of the stuff over those four days. And then on the eighth, when the removalists come, that's all the big stuff. And from that day on, we'll be living at our new place. And then again, super lucky. We have about two weeks to keep coming back here and slowly cleaning the place up, which will not be fun. I don't know if it's just our place, but apartments seem to get dusty super easily. So not looking forward to that final clean, but really excited for the next chapter. Arlene is really excited. We can't wait to show it off to you guys. If you can hear that, that is our upstairs neighbors, but to the right across the stairwell having their apartment gutted. Yeah, on Friday, that was 13 billion times louder as you would have seen on my Instagram. And they've just arrived as I'm wrapping this video up. So that's that's pretty good timing, I guess. The drilling's back. Yeah, the drilling's back. The drilling's back, gonna do it again, gonna wake up the neighborhood.